Good Friday morning, my dear brother or sister in Christ. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that you've had a productive week. I hope you're finishing up. Looking forward to a great weekend. And of course, I hope you're living your very best life in Jesus Christ. Well, tomorrow is going to be a tough day because tomorrow I have to say goodbye to my older brother, Tim. And I'll admit I've been struggling with my sermon ever since he passed away on Monday. See, I desperately want to say the right things to comfort my family and friends, but I keep being sidelined by, well, memories. This is the first time as a pastor I must say goodbye to someone in my immediate family, and it has been painful, extremely painful. Yeah, and my brother Mark said, you don't have to do this, and I suppose I could have turned it over to another minister. I mean, that would certainly be easier and much less painful, but this is something I must do, something I feel I was called to do. It's the right thing to do. It's necessary. I've found in the last few years that one of the most difficult things pastors are called to do is to comfort love the ones we love when we we have to say goodbye to someone we all love. I find myself struggling for the right words to comfort my loved ones in this time of grief. And, and, and the bottom line is I'm working through my own grief as well. And the truth is I'm really tired of saying goodbye. And in Tim's case, it makes me very, very tired and sad. But anyone who has experienced the loss of a loved one understands the pain involved in just saying goodbye. Whether death occurs suddenly and unexpectedly or at the end of a long illness, we're never really ready to say goodbye. I mean, are we? In general, goodbyes are rarely easy. When I think of Tim, I'm reminded of a quote attributed to Winnie the Pooh who seems to be quite the optimist when he says, How lucky I am to have someone that makes saying goodbye to so hard. And that was Tim. I must remind myself as a Christian, no matter how hard the parting, no matter how sad the circumstances, that we realize that even the worst, most painful partings are only temporary, thanks to the shed blood and saving grace of Jesus Christ. When we're forced by circumstances or death to say goodbye to a beloved brother or sister in Christ, we're assured that this is not really goodbye, but rather, as my dad used to say, see you later. I'm reminded of Acts 20, where the Apostle Paul was saying goodbye to his friends in Ephesus, and, and knowing that he was most likely going to never see them again, which ended up being the case. See, Paul's key to being able to move forward in such a hard transition and emotional moment is found in verse 32, where he tells them, Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace. See, this is always our comfort in a season of farewell. It may not make the moment easier, but it does sanctify the moment and remind us that for those of us in Christ, death, while very painful, is not permanent. See, entrusting our loved ones and the circumstances to God in the goodbye times is a way of bringing Jesus and his sustaining grace into the very center of our lives. This is a faith demonstration of trusting God as the keeper and guardian over everything, especially in these times of separation. Look, as much as I hate to say goodbye to my dear Tim, I do so with the confidence that he is in good hands, being kept in the safekeeping of our loving and gracious Lord, and, and I will see Tim again. See, as believers, we never have to say really goodbye to the ones we love as long as we have placed, as long as we and they have placed their trust in Jesus as Savior. And Tim may have had his faults, but he did indeed do that. We often talk in our church about the blessed hope. Well, guys, this is it. This is the blessed assurance. And, and that is the assurance that I will see Tim. I'll see my mom, my dad, and Kevin Lee again in the morning. And what a morning that's going to be. Look, grief is never easy, and saying goodbye hurts. But it is survivable. And if you think about it right, it's a useful reminder that life is just too short. 
Tim's passing is a reminder to cherish the time I have together with all my loved ones because life is fleeting. So tomorrow is going to be painful. But no matter how painful it will be, this will not be the final goodbye at all. Instead, I will remind myself of the truth, the blessed hope, and rest in the comfort of Christ's safekeeping, just like Tim. And I'll firmly look at my brother and say, not a sad goodbye, but rather see his grin in my mind as I say, well, I'll see you in the morning, bub. I hope today's a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I am, of course, always here if you need me. And I truly, truly love you all. Bye-bye.